welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Mew Lissa, otherwise known as Mew, and today we are playing the Black Widow Challenge in The Sims 4. If you know me and you've been watching my channel, you may know that I've been on a hiatus for a little bit for about a month or so. I am now back, at least hopefully for her, <laughs> for a long period of time because um, I was gone because I was moving and I just moved. I've been here about a week now getting settled in, everything's set up. And about two weeks before I moved, my C drive was completely wiped um, by my own mistake. That's totally on me, my bad. Um, I didn't back up properly. So I lost all of my saves to my previous series, which is really sad and unfortunate, but uh, it gave me an opportunity to start all new series, which is really exciting. Um, so we're kind of having, we're starting a new leaf on this channel and we're going to go from there. I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to see and I've got a few series lined up. So hopefully those will be rolling out soon. And uh, yeah, so we're starting off with the Black Widow Challenge. And uh, these rules I will post down below. Um, but they're, for the most part, um, pretty self-explanatory if you have played or watched the Black Widow Challenge. I will kind of be talking about it as I go along. But first, I really wanted to introduce you to our, I guess, matriarch? I don't know how, no, it wouldn't be matriarch, but I guess our main person. So this is Hillary Merrill, and right now you might be thinking, okay, I, I've watched and I've played Black Widow before, this does not look quite right. So I'm trying to start off with a little bit of a backstory here just to make it a little more interesting and I don't have it completely planned out but maybe you guys can help me fill in the blanks. But Hillary, um, she's starting from the bottom and she wants to build her way up. Um, due to some drama and some misfortunes in her life, uh, her personality is going to be changing pretty rapidly to align with the requirements for the Black Widow Challenge. But this is her as of right now, and she is a young adult, but her traits right now are clumsy, geek, and romantic, so she's always been romantic. Uh, she's always, you know, been a hopeless romantic, so that's been there since the beginning. Um, however, she's starting off as a little bit of a nerd. She works hard for what she's got, and, you know... I'll explain the story in a second, but it hasn't really worked out for her, and she's just kind of tired of taking the, the slow route. She wants to fast track this, uh, her, her life a little bit. So you can see she's got some acne going on. She's got some really bad teeth. Oops. She's got some really gnarly teeth. She's wearing glasses. She's got some bushy eyebrows. Uh, her nose is a little big, not too big. Still, I think she's pretty cute. Um, she's got a flat chest. She's got no curves, uh, no booty, no nothing. Um, she's just, you know, she's just kind of plain Jane. She's, she's just, you know, just, she, you wouldn't look twice at her, you know, at the bar or whatever. You would just kind of, just kind of a wallflower right now. Um, but let me go ahead and show you who she's living here with. So Hal Merrill is her father and he is a man of many trades I suppose besides being a fisherman in the mornings he also is a property manager not only for the trailer park they live in but also for the gas station across the street which I will show you in a moment he and Joyce Merrill had Hillary um, however they are both hot-headed uh, and they clashed quite a bit. He is also lazy and a slob, and he has a bit of a wandering eye. Um, Joyce was non-committal. She was self-absorbed and hot-headed. You know, she kind of expected more for herself, but she ended up mostly, uh, since she was so non-committal, she couldn't really stick to one thing, and she ended up being mostly like a store clerk, I think, before she died, but she actually passed away from anger because she found Hal was cheating on her with another trailer park resident, uh, Penny Hoover. Now she is in um, the local beauty college and she is also self-absorbed and materialistic and she's a romantic. Um, she's a young adult and she had a daughter when she was uh, a teenager, Lindy, who is a kleptomaniac, and I think she's also materialistic, but she, <laughs> following along tradition, is pregnant now as well, and she got 
uh, knocked up by her boyfriend, Wolfgang, um, which you guys may know, he's a townie. So that's a little bit of a backstory. Hal uh, is now currently engaged to Penny. And I guess I will show you, this is the trailer park. I did find this on the gallery. Um, so this is, this one here is where Hillary and her parents lived before everything went down. This is where Penny and Lindy live. And then over here is a third residence where two guys live. Um, they're technically, I used a mod to make them live in maids. So they're constantly cleaning up the place, um, but they're also residents. So this is where they live. You can see them in their beds there. Um, this is Penny over here. You can see they're getting ready for the baby to come. You can see she's very plastic, a little, a little trashé. Uh, Lindy is a little bit of a wild child, as you can see. I think her and her mom get along okay, but she's just a little bit rebellious. And then over across the street is the gas station that um, Hal owns and operates, and that is Del Sol Station. So that's what it looks like over there. I also downloaded that from the gallery. I thought it was really cool and yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I thought it would fit in pretty well with the surrounding area to have a gas station nearby. And then Hillary herself is right now, I think she works in fast food. So yeah, she's a fry cook. And so, you know, she's just, her mom just passed away, recent, like recent enough that she's not too sad anymore, but I think she has a lot of built up anger. Um, this is her mom's uh, tombstone over here. But I think what we're gonna do is she's ready to, you know, start her life, get out of this place. She doesn't want to live in this trailer all by herself when her dad is over here, you know, making his new family with this girl that, uh, he cheated on and ultimately kind of caused her mother's death. So what we need to do is I think first and foremost, what we should do is maybe sign up. I know this, I don't know if this is cheating, so you'll have to let me know what you think, but I think I'm gonna have her uh, use the Simda, um, the Simda dating app and we'll sign up for some dating. I might, yeah, I might enable some hookup calls and let's see, sure, we'll do that later. But for now, I think what I wanna do is have her go on a blind date. Um, but yeah, she's kind of, she's, I mean, she's kind of a goody two shoes, but she's getting tired of it because where has it really gotten her in life? You know, she's cleaned up after everybody. She's taking care of everything and she's just kind of tired of it. She's, it's not getting her anywhere or doing anything for her. So I think we're going to go ahead and move her along a little bit. So let's go ahead and she's in a good mood. We don't actually work for another two days. So I think this would be a good time to maybe go on a blind date. I know it's only eight in the morning but maybe they could go for brunch or something. So we will do a blind date. I think I have this set for a male blind date. I think I have this set for, um, what am I trying to say, singles only, which is part of the rules actually because, and this is, this is mostly because the technicalities of the game. If you are going to move in someone that you're, um, that uh, already has a household or whatever, uh, their money won't come over. And that's kind of the point of this. So let's see. I guess maybe we'll go to Newcrest. I'm trying to, f I want to find a place that Breakfast Club is a little too fancy. I think Newcrest might have a dine. No, sorry. I meant Magnolia Promenade might have a diner. This is Simsy Save, by the way. So yeah, let's go to the diner together. We'll have a nice little breakfast and get to know him. Uh, we're trying to make it, you know, a little nicer uh, by starting off on a breakfast date. That doesn't really, it's hard to lead to much more uh, physically from there, if you know what I mean. So let's just see how this uh, goes between the two of them. Uh, okay, so who do we have here? Who are we on a date with? This is Sage Silver. Oh, I like his name. He's he's an interesting guy. I'm not I'm not mad about this. Let's go ahead and request a table. 
Actually, I feel like we should definitely request a specific table. I think we'll request that one, maybe. Let's see if this will work or not. So we'll head in there. Um, let's see. I wonder what he's about. I do have some townies uh, from the gallery that I've thrown in just for some added fun. Uh, so another thing about the rules here, once this starts, I need to turn off aging for everyone basically except for my household once I start with her. So everyone in town is gonna age except for her, which I think is a little weird. I don't know if I wanna like stay with that. Um, I think I might have everyone stay aged on. Um, have we even greeted him yet? A uh, friend, ooh, a uh, friendly introduction. Why don't you give him, we don't even know him yet. So we'll say hi and in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna explain the rules a little bit while we get these two settled in for some breakfast. Uh, let's order for the table. So, this particular challenge is by Jake Paul is my bay zero zero. <laughs> and like I said, I'll have this down below. Let's see, let's do, we'll have her do an orange juice. I'll get him a coffee. And I don't think she's too hungry, so I'm just gonna get her uh, fruit salad, but he can have something a little heartier. I'll get him a BLT. Okay, so can we sit together, please? Okay, so lifespan set to normal. Start off as a young adult. Give her the following three traits, materialistic, snob, and romantic. So I think that's going to change very quickly that she will become materialistic. I'm gonna hold off on having her be a snob for a little bit. I think we'll switch geek to materialistic. Uh, her aspiration needs to be the serial romantic. And I think I might do that. I think I'll do that now, actually. Let's see, serial romantic. Got it, okay. Um, so we're gonna be having dinner parties whenever we get a new husband. We have to get at least a rating of a silver just to show off what a nice wife we are. But let's get to know him a little bit here, friendly. Uh, let's ask about his day. Um, we'll be friendly and ask about his career. And let's see. We'll get to know him a little bit. He's unemployed, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so after the party, okay, so after the party, when we become a wife, we will find a new love interest, move him in, get caught cheating, and then kind of, you know, kill the guy. Oh, he's a bookworm. Okay, so he's starting, we're starting off a little easy, so that's good. Um, we're gonna be labeling the graves with, um, Let's see, with his name and died by Black Widow. Um, we're gonna do this 10 times and I am gonna bump it up a little bit by, I think, I think I wanna have a kid with every husband. Um, try for baby just once, uh, well not just once, but have at least one kid. If she has twins, fine, but once she has a kid, I'm not gonna try for more. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Also, let's see, no mods or cheats, no money cheats. We have to keep all the tombstones on the lot. We can reset Sims if they get stuck. Uh, we can have as many love interests at the same time. Um, let's see, we cannot have a job. All, must, all money must be earned by the men she targets. Uh, can only marry single men. Uh, during killing, we can't leave the lot because it'll somehow reset them. And we can't repair items, we can only replace them, so, you know, we're paying to get them fixed, essentially. Um, and we must max out both the cooking and the charisma skills, so that's our base rules right there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start talking to this guy a little bit more because we need to build up this relationship a little bit and, um... We're glad he's single, that's good. Um, we'll tell him a funny story, romance. Um, let's exchange numbers with him. Oh, it's really soon in the date, I didn't realize that. Uh, let me pause on that, actually. We're gonna get these rules taken care of. We'll discuss some interests with him. Uh, yeah, she's not too hungry. I think she stopped eating, which is fine by me. Um, we need to flirt with him a few times, so we'll do that. 
So I wonder if he lives on his own. If not, I will probably adjust him to be on his own on a lot that we can move on to, I suppose. Um, I did that. Okay, flirt again. We'll be funny and tell him a joke. Uh, joke about politicians. Yeah, why not? Maybe we're gonna kind of dumb down like we don't know politics very well. Even though she's quite smart, she's gonna start playing dumb really quick. Uh, do that. We can also, we'll do a funny story. And we still need to keep, keep flirting with this guy, definitely. But I think this is going pretty well. Um, I would like to know more of his traits, but they have it set so you can't ask them all at once anymore. Which is actually, I mean, that's fine. Talk about first time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna try and exchange numbers. That way he can call us. Ooh, we need to have a deep conversation. I'm okay with that. But yeah, this far I think it's going really well between the two of them. I think he's a good candidate for our first husband despite not having a job. Um, I think I want, is it raining outside? It is raining, okay. I was gonna suggest they go outside and just go for a walk or sit somewhere, but it is raining, so I guess we'll stay in here. Um, romance. Give him a bold pickup line. We'll keep being friendly. I want I would really like to get to know him more, but it hasn't come back yet. Express. We'll be funny. Uh, let's joke about that again. Romance. Bold pickup line. So did we exchange numbers? Yes. Great. Um, friendly. Deep conversation. So we're just trying to fast track this and get him interested as soon as possible so we can get in there. Let's go have a first kiss, maybe? I wonder if he will accept that. <laughs> Got him! Okay, nice. So that should have, yep, kissed our date, got that. Let's see if we can, if he'll let us, oh, he won't let us hold his hand quite yet. Oh, but we still got gold, so that's good. Um, we're gonna confess our attraction. I think we're high enough that we can do that. Friendly, I don't wanna ask just to be friends. That is not what I want. Enthuse about new show. Um, um, can we hold hands? There we go. We can hold hands now. Doing really well here, actually, so that's good. I think I might, uh, okay, yeah, I think I might end this date here. I'm going to end the meal and pay, and we've exchanged numbers with him, so this is all good, and then I think we're going to end our date, uh, with a little bit of a, uh, we can offer him a rose, I guess. Offer him a rose, we will, I think, maybe just like kiss his cheek if that's an option. I think that's cute, no? Okay, well then we will, uh, we'll kiss him. Hi, uh, could you not? Thanks. We'll kiss him and then end the date. Okay, so they're doing good. What is this? Attempt to mistletoe? That's so weird. Don't do that. We're gonna go home now. <sighs> okay, where are we going? Uh, where do we live? Oh yeah, Del Sol Valley. Okay, I'm gonna head home. Nope, Sage is not coming with us. I think in between this and the next episode, I'm gonna have to go in and uh, just see what his living situation is. Oh, I've got a yawn. I got a yawn. Here it is. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Bills have been. Oh my gosh, three thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, I guess we'll go pay the bills here. 
How's she doing? I kind of want her to have a baby with Hal. I know it's crazy, but I kind of want to do it. Let me see, hold on, game options. Do I have aging on, auto age? Yes, yes, apply. There we go. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it uh, with uh, auto age for everyone. Don't really see the point in not doing that. And also, she's not supposed to be able to be in here. This is supposed to be locked off, but maybe that got disrupted in the latest patch. Uh, which is fine because I don't plan for these two to be around much or for her to be around here much longer And then I don't really care what happens on this lot uh, Let's see here. Oh No, Hillary got food poisoning. That's disgusting. She had fruit salad and um, Orange juice. We're gonna report that. That's nasty Hi, what the heck? We get money? Are we getting money for it? I think you're also supposed to be, oh yeah, nice. Drink lots of water. So we'll go have some water. Hopefully that'll help. Um, yeah, she's not feeling so hot, which is fine. So she's very flirty. Um, her date was good. Minus, you know, on a roll. Oh, minus, you know, the uh, food poisoning. But thankfully that happened after we departed from him. Hopefully he's doing okay as well, which is, you know, we don't really wanna know, don't wanna. Uh, break the mystery there So I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed so as we go along She's going to be using the money from um, The money from her husband's to get some you know She'll get her acne cleared up. She'll get like veneers uh, You know implants all this sort of stuff. So get some contacts and all that. So yeah, she is going to be Shaping up get a nose job and all that get some lip injections. So she's gonna be gorgeous after a while uh, That's my plan. I wanted her to start off from the bottom now. We here. I think we might take a selfie Okay, I don't want you here. I'm gonna end this in just a second, but first she's having a mood swing. Oh dear Why don't you um You need some food go get some leftovers. Do we have any we don't uh, oh, she's cooking. Okay, never mind. I want to check. I know I said I was gonna end this I just want to check this really quick, but you I want you to take a selfie I'm gonna have her do it over here. I love this wall. I think it's so gorgeous Have her go here and take a selfie. Um, I think it would be nice to get pictures uh, Between her. Oh good. Okay, Penny's pregnant. That's nice. I think it'd be fun to get pictures of her between her physical transformations uh, just to see how that looks. So let's take a selfie. I am so excited, by the way, for the Machino pack just for the photography. I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, yeah, she's real flirty. So we'll start off. Okay, well that doesn't really let me. Ugh. So annoying. Okay, there. Uh, let's see. What is our best light? <laughs> I guess like right there, I guess. Yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we can give one to to the guy. So this one's poor. I'm gonna go to the center of the lot, take a look at our picture. Cause we can totally put it on the surface now. Not that we want to, but we can. Um ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. Oh, so lovely. I love it. Good job. Okay. All right. I will be ending this episode here. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a comment and a like down below letting me know. If you really enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it makes my days. Thank you so, so much in advance for that. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys.